The 1966 to 1967 NBA season was the 21st season of the National Basketball Association. The season began on October 15, 1966 and ended on March 19, 1967. The number one draft pick was Cassie Russell, selected by the New York Knicks. The Chicago Bulls were added as an expansion team and the Baltimore Bullets moved to the East. Spot World, what's going on? This is NBA Rap. Those were some quick facts about this season. Let's get into the team records. The Philadelphia 76ers led the league and the East. They finished the season at 68 wins and 13 losses. The best record in league history at the time. Followed by the Boston Celtics, 60 wins, 21 losses. Cincinnati Royals, 39 wins, 42 losses. New York Knicks, 36 wins, 45 losses. And Baltimore Bullets, 20 wins, 61 losses. Missing the playoffs. The West was led by the San Francisco Warriors. 44 wins and 37 losses followed by the st louis hawks 39 and 42 los angeles lakers 36 and 45 chicago bulls 33 and 48 and detroit pistons 30 and 51 missing the playoffs all right let's jump into our season leaders in all-star game the scoring champion of the season was rick barry of the san francisco warriors amassing 2775 points averaging 35.6 per game. The rebounds leader of the season was Wilt Chamberlain of the Philadelphia 76ers amassing 1,957 rebounds averaging 24.2 per game. Leading the league in assists was Guy Rogers of the Chicago Bulls with 908 averaging 11.2 per game. The 1967 NBA All-Star Game was the 17th All-Star Game. It was played on January 10th, 1967 at the Cow Palace in Daly City, California. Riding a four-game losing streak in the All-Star Game, the West snapped out of his funk behind a monstrous scoring performance from Rick Barry. Barry pumped in 38 points on 16 for 27 shooting to win MVP honors as the West defeated the heavily favored East 135 to 120. This was widely acknowledged to be the greatest upset in the history of the event. It was the lone all-star MVP in Barry's career and his 27 field goals made set an all-star game record. The game also saw the ejection of Eastern Conference head coach Red Auerbach in what would be his final NBA season on the bench. He became the only coach to be ejected in an all-star game. The Eastern Conference stars were Hal Greer, Wilt Chamberlain, and Chet Walker of the Philadelphia 76ers, Willis Reed of the New York Knicks, Bailey Howell, Bill Russell, and John Havlicek of the Boston Celtics. Celtics, Don Ohl of the Baltimore Bullets, and Oscar Robinson and Jerry Lucas of the Cincinnati Royals. They were coached by Red Auerbach of the Boston Celtics. The Western Conference stars were Rick Barry and Nate Thurman of the San Francisco Warriors, Guy Rogers of the Chicago Bulls, Jerry West, Elgin Baylor, and Darrell Imhoff of the Los Angeles Lakers, Dave Bouchier of the Detroit Pistons, Jerry Sloan of the Chicago Bulls, and Bill Bridges and Lenny Wilkins of the St. Louis Hawks. They were coached by Fred Schaus of the Los Angeles Lakers. Let's get into our award winners of the season, and you know we need that Rookie of the Year award here in Spa World. Hit that like button right now. Subscribe if you're new and you learned something new. I know you learned something new. The most valuable player of the season was Wilt Chamberlain of the Philadelphia 76ers. The Rookie of the Year went to Dave Bing of the Detroit Pistons, averaging 20 points per game, 4.5 rebounds per game, and 4.1 assists per game. The Coach of the Year went to Johnny Red Kerr of the Chicago Bulls. The All-NBA First Team featured Oscar Robinson of the Cincinnati Cincinnati Royals averaging 30.5 points per game, 10.7 assists per game, and 6.2 rebounds per game. Jerry West of the Los Angeles Lakers averaging 28.7 points per game, 6.8 assists per game, and 5.9 rebounds per game. Will Chamberlain of the Philadelphia 76ers averaging 24.1 points per game, 7.8 assists per game, and 24.2 rebounds per game. Elgin Baylor of the Los Angeles Lakers averaging 26.6 points per game, 3.1 assists per game, and 12.8 rebounds per game. And Rick Barry of the San Francisco Warriors, averaging 35.6 points per game, 3.6 assists per game, and 9.2 rebounds per game. On the All-NBA second team, we had Hal Greer of the Philadelphia 76ers, averaging 22.1 points per game, 3.8 assists per game, and 5.3 rebounds per game. Sam Jones of the Boston Celtics, averaging 22.1 points per game, 3 assists per game, and 4.7 rebounds per game. Bill Russell of the Boston Celtics, averaging 13.5 points per game, 5.8 assists per game, and 21 rebounds per game. Jerry Lucas of the 
the Cincinnati Royals, averaging 17.8 points per game, 3.3 assists per game, and 19.1 rebounds per game. Willis Reed of the New York Knicks, averaging 20.9 points per game, 1.6 assists per game, and 14.6 rebounds per game. Making the NBA All-Rookie First Team was Jack Marin of the Baltimore Bullets, Dave Bing of the Detroit Pistons, Erwin Muller of the Chicago Bulls, Lou Hudson of the St. Louis Hawks, and Kazzy Russell of the New York Knicks. The 1967 NBA playoffs began on March 21st. The expansion Chicago Bulls made the playoffs in their debut season, and the New York Knicks returned to the postseason for the first time since 1959. The 1967 NBA playoffs marked a change in the league's playoff format. Every tournament since 1955 had given the top-ranked team in each division a first-round bye. But starting this season, the NBA upped the number of playoff teams to eight, thereby eliminating a first-round bye for the regular season division champions. In the Eastern Division semifinals, the one seed Philadelphia 76ers defeated the third seeded Cincinnati Royals 3 to 1. The second seeded Boston Celtics also won over the fourth seed New York Knicks 3 to 1 after a 51 point outburst by Sam Jones in Game 4. In the Western Division semifinals, the one seeded San Francisco Warriors, led by rookie Rick Barry, swept the third seeded Los Angeles Lakers. This was also the first postseason matchup between two California based professional sports teams among the four major North American sports leagues. The two-seeded St. Louis Hawks defeated the four-seed Chicago Bulls in a 3-0 sweep. Meeting in the Eastern Division Finals were rivals Philadelphia 76ers and Boston Celtics. After a series of historic individual performances by Wilt Chamberlain, including a quadruple double with 24 points, 32 rebounds, 13 assists, and 12 unofficially counted blocks in Game 1, as well as a 41 rebound game in Game 4. In Game 5, the 76ers won 140-116 to to snap Boston's NBA record playoff series winning streak at 18 and their championship reign at eight years. The San Francisco Warriors were able to rely on their star players Nate Thurman and Rick Barry to win the series 4-2 over the St. Louis Hawks and make it to the finals. The 1967 NBA Finals began on April 14th featuring the Philadelphia 76ers versus the San Francisco Warriors. This was the first championship series in 11 years without the Boston Celtics. Games 1 and 2 saw the 76ers defend their home court 141 to 135 in an overtime win in Game 1 and 126 to 95 in Game 2. A 55 point outburst by Rick Barry powered the Warriors to a Game 3 win 130 to 124. Philadelphia took one on the road. 38 points by Hal Greer and 27 rebounds by Wilt Chamberlain brought them to a 122 to 108 game four win. The Warriors stars led the way for a game five win 117 to 109 and a game six back on their home court. However, in game six, Philadelphia completed a fourth quarter rally on the road to win the game 125 to 122 and the NBA championship. Spot World, that's wraps on today's episode of NBA Rap. Please leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and if you want to know more about ball, you can learn that right there.